हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल एंड पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अंकित आचार्य एंड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर लॉगेरिदमिक ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट लॉगेरिदम ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो लेट जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस आई वाई वी नो दैट वी आर टेकिंग जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस आई वाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू आर कॉस थीटा ओके एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू आर साइन थीटा सो दैट्स वाई जेड इज इक्वल टू आर इन टू कॉस थीटा प्लस आई साइन थीटा दिस इज अवर पोलर फॉर्म ओके एंड ऑल्सो वी राइट एक्सपोनशियल फॉर्म जेड इज इक्वल टू आर इन टू ई रेस टू आई थीटा नाउ टेकिंग लॉग ऑन बोथ द साइड सो वी गेट लॉग जेड that is equal to log r into e raised to i theta and we know that log x into y that can be written as log x plus log y so we use that formula so log r plus log e raised to i theta okay and what is r r is nothing but square root of x square plus y square so we replace that value so log square root of x square plus y square plus log e raised to i theta and we know that logarithmic function and exponential function are inverse of each other so that's why uh, we can write i theta only right so log square root of x square plus y square that can be written as 1 by 2 log x square plus y square plus i theta now don't forget uh, what is our theta theta is nothing our nothing but principal argument okay so just i write here theta that is equal to principal argument of that complex number okay and how you can find principal argument i hope that you all know so finally we get this formula that log x plus i y that is equal to 1 by 2 log x square plus y square plus i theta that you have to remember and this is our principal value for the complex number log x plus i y okay now if you want to write down the general value so for that we use capital l left hand side we use capital l so log x plus i y and that is equal to uh, 1 by 2 log x square plus y square log x square plus y square plus i into theta but just we add 2n pi so 2n pi plus theta okay so now this is our general value log x plus i y that is equal to 1 by 2 log x square plus y square plus i into 2n pi plus theta so just write down uh, just remember this two formula first one is a principal value second equation is a general value okay now let's all example now i want to find out the value of minus i raise to i now this topic that you have to use suppose you want to find out the value of some complex number raise to some complex number okay so here also see minus i raise to i so as a base you have complex number as a degree that is also complex number so to find out this type of complex number that you for that you have to use logarithmic of complex number so first of all let z is equal to minus i raised to i okay and taking log on both the side now there is no clarification about principal value or general value so you can just find out the principal value okay so taking log on both the sides so log z that is equal to i Uh, log minus i okay now for log minus i i use principal value so 1 by 2 log x square plus y square so here clearly x is equal to minus 1 uh, sorry x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1 okay so x square plus y square that is 1 so that's why uh, 1 by 2 log 1 plus i into theta theta means principal argument principal argument of minus i so minus i is here on a negative y axis and for that what is our principal argument principal argument is minus pi by 2 okay principal argument is minus pi by 2 and now log 1 log 1 is 0 so finally we have i into in bracket i into minus pi by 2 okay and i square is minus 1 minus minus plus so finally we get pi by 2 so log z that is equal to pi by 2 okay so the value of z that is e raised to pi by 2 clear now uh, let's solve one more example now prove that i raised to i that is equal to e raised to minus in bracket 4n plus 1 into pi by 2 now pro uh, to prove this equation definitely we have to use general value 
because otherwise we cannot get this 4n plus 1 ok if we use just a principal value we cannot get 4n plus 1 that you can understand because in only in general value we have 2n pi right so that's why uh, use general value so let z is equal to i raised to i now taking log on both the side uh, so log z that is equal to i log i right and now uh, use general value for log i so 1 by 2 log x square plus y square that is 1 so log 1 plus i a uh, 2n pi 2n pi plus uh, what is the principal argument for i i is on positive y axis here and for that clearly what is my theta theta is pi by 2 so principal argument is pi by 2 so here i just write pi by 2 now log 1 is 0 and i square is minus 1 so this is minus 2n pi plus pi by 2 take lcm so we get 4n plus 1 4n plus 1 into pi by 2 ok so log z we get log z that is equal to minus 4n plus 1 into pi by 2 so z that is equal to e raised to minus 4n plus 1 into pi by 2 ok so this is our required answer now next example find the principal value of i raised to 1 minus i now already they give us a clarification that just find out the principal value ok uh, so uh, once again let z is equal to i raised to 1 minus i and taking log on both the side so log z that is equal to 1 minus i log i ok and that is equal to 1 minus i as it is now find out the principal value for log i so 1 by 2 log x square plus y square so that is 1 because x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 ok so x square plus y square is 1 so 1 by 2 log 1 plus i into theta theta means principal argument and we know that principal argument for i that is pi by 2 i is somewhere here ok on positive y axis so i into pi by 2 and log 1 the value of log 1 that is 0 so 1 minus i into i pi by 2 ok so multiply with 1 first of all so i pi by 2 and then minus i into i so that is i square is minus 1 so plus pi by 2 so log z that is equal to i pi by 2 plus pi by 2 so that means z is equal to e raised to i pi by 2 plus pi by 2 that can be written as e raised to pi by 2 into e raised to i pi by 2 ok and that can be written as that is equal to e raised to pi by 2 we know that e raised to i pi by 2 that can be written as cos pi by 2 plus i sin pi by 2 ok and the value of cos pi by 2 that is 0 sin pi by 2 1 so that is why this is i e raised to pi by 2 so the final answer is z is equal to i e raised to pi by 2 ok now next example interesting example prove that i raised to i is purely real and find its principal value ok and also show that the values of i raised to i form a geometric progression so first of all we find the values of i raised to i first of all find principal value so z is equal to i raised to i taking log on both the sides so log z that is equal to i log i and that can be written as i uh, find the principal value for log i so that is 1 by 2 log x square plus y square so 1 plus i into pi by 2 we know that principal argument for i that is pi by 2 log 1 is 0 and i square is minus 1 so minus pi by 2 and z is equal to e raised to minus pi by 2 ok clear so just we find principal value for this complex number and clearly uh, this is purely real number e raised to minus pi by 2 now find out the uh, general value ok so log z that is equal to i log i and that can be written as i uh, 1 by 2 log 1 plus i into 2n pi plus pi by 2 ok just we have to add 2n pi only so 2n pi plus pi by 2 log 1 is 0 i square is minus 1 
so that's why we get a uh, minus a uh, 2n pi in bracket 2n pi plus pi by 2 okay so log z that we get minus 2n pi plus pi by 2 so that's why uh, z is equal to e raised to minus in bracket 2n pi plus pi by 2 okay so that can be written as e raised to minus pi by 2 into e raised to minus 2n pi okay and that is equal to e raised to minus pi by 2 into e raised to minus 2 pi uh, raised to n now suppose uh, let's take alpha alpha is equal to e raised to minus pi by 2 okay alpha is equal to e raised to minus pi by 2 and beta that is equal to e raised to minus 2 pi clear uh, i just assume alpha is e raised to minus pi by 2 and beta is e raised to minus 2 pi so now this value of z that can be written as alpha into beta raised to n okay and clearly now you can easily understand that the values of z okay values of z are in geometric progression okay because suppose first of all we take n is equal to 0 so what is my first value first value is alpha suppose let's take n is equal to 1 so the next value is alpha into beta then let's take n is equal to 2 then alpha beta square and so on alpha beta cube okay so this is exactly a geometric series so that means what the values of z are in geometric progression now i want to prove that modulus value of e raised to minus 2 z less than 1 if and only if real part of z greater than 0 so first of all i want to find out the value of e raised to minus 2 z so e raised to minus 2 z that can be written as e raised to minus 2 in bracket x plus i y that is equal to e raised to minus 2 x into e raised to minus 2 i y okay and now e raised to minus 2 i y that can be written as cos 2 y minus i sin 2 y okay and now modulus value of suppose we know that z is equal to x plus i y then what is value of mod z mod z that is square root of x square plus y square so that is modulus value of e raised to minus 2 z that is equal to square root of real part whole square so that is real part whole square means real part square means e raised to minus 4 x cos square 2 y and imaginary part square that is e raised to minus 4 x sin square 2 y okay so e raised to minus 4 x is a common term in bracket we have cos square 2 y plus sin square 2 y that is 1 so square root of e raised to minus 4 x that is equal to e raised to minus 2 x okay so the exponential uh, modulus value of e raised to minus 2 z that is e raised to minus 2 x okay now let's start with real part of z greater than 0 real part of z greater than 0 that means x greater than 0 what is real part of z real part of z is x x greater than 0 so that means multiply with 2 on both the side so 2x greater than 0 now e raised to 2x that is also greater than e raised to 0 what is e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 okay and now uh, 1 upon e raised to 2x okay suppose we are taking inverse on both the sides so that's why greater than become less than so 1 upon e raised to minus uh, 1 upon e raised to 2x that is less than 1 so e raised to minus 2x less than 1 okay and that's why what is e raised to minus 2x the value of e raised to minus 2x that is nothing but modulus value of e raised to minus 2z less than 1 okay and also we are starting with uh, last term modulus value of e raised to minus 2z less than 1 and we can easily prove that real part of z greater than 0 okay so in today's lecture just we discuss about logarithmic of complex number we saw so many important example and lastly this is our theoretical example uh, important example okay so thank you